Fiddler's Contingency Model of Leadership Fiddler's Contingency Theory of Leadership states that your effectiveness as a leader is determined by how well your leadership style matches the situation. So, the effectiveness of the leadership style depends on the situation in which Fiddler's along with his associates identified the situational variables and studied about the relationship with the appropriateness of leadership styles. Fiddler's contingency theory is not the only contingency theory. Contingency theory is a general theory which says that there is no one singular based way to instruct your organization and lead your team. The best way to do this will be contingent on the situation. So contingency theories examine how best to run your team or, or organization given different situations. Another way to see this is that the best leadership style will be contingent on the situation. Fiddler's contingency model is comprised of three elements, leadership styles, situational variables, and the relationship between styles and situation. Let's study this in detail. So, it is important to realize that in Fiddler's contingency theory, your leadership style is fixed. You cannot change your style to suit the situation. Instead, you must put leaders into the situation that match their style. As we could see here, the Fiddler's contingency model, the leadership styles to situational variables, back to the leadership styles, down to relationship between styles and situation. According to Fiddler, the leadership style depends on two dimensions such as task-oriented and human relations-oriented. The task-oriented leader is primarily concerned with the task performance and the accomplishment of task goals. He gets satisfied with the accomplishment of task performance. While the manager concerned with human relations lay more emphasis on developing the interpersonal relationship with his subordinates. In order to understand the attitude of a leader, Fiddler developed at a least preferred co-worker skills or LPC wherein the leaders are asked to rate a person on a scale ranging from lowest to highest on several parameters to identify the worker with one the least like to work. Certain parameters on the LPC scale are pleasant, unpleasant, friendly, unfriendly, cooperative, and uncooperative, and etc. The leaders with high LPC score are said to be relationship-oriented, whereas the ones with the low LPC scores are considered as task-oriented. It has been observed that several situational factors influence the effectiveness of the leadership styles. But however, Fiddler has talked about three critical dimensions. First is the leader positional power, second is task structure, and third is leader member relations. First is leader's position power. This element is concerned with the power of authority a leader derives from the position held by him in the organization. It has been observed that a manager with absolute power influence the behavior of others more than the ones without power. Second is task structure. The task structure means the extent to which the task requirements are clearly defined in terms of the task goals, processes, and relationship with other tasks. It has been observed that with a clear definition of task structure, the actions of the subordinate, subordinates can be well directed and their performance can be well controlled, which may not be possible in case of unclear task structure. And last is leader-member relations. This dimension talks about the degree to which the members have trust, confidence, and faith in their manager. According to him, the leadership effectiveness depends on the situation, as one style favoring one situation may not necessarily be appropriate in any other situation. Thus, it is the situation that gives an opportunity to the leader to influence his subordinates through the right kind of leadership style.
This is the last elements of Fiddler's contingency model, wherein he talks about the relationship between the situation and the appropriateness of the leadership style. However, Fiddler's contingency model suggests that the situation decides the style of leadership and influence the behavior of a manager. In conclusion, no leadership style is appropriate for all situations. Thus, manager can adapt the leadership style according to the requirements of the situation. So, there is a need for matching leaders and job situation to achieve organizational effectiveness. Fiddler say that if we wish to increase organizational and growth effectiveness, we must learn not only how to train leaders more effectively, but also how to build an organizational environment in which the leader can perform well. That could be all. Thank you.